The round table. Gentlemen. Aye. Let's broaden our minds. Lay on, gentlemen, and let them know what's what. Fire at will. It's time for action, gentlemen. Gentlemen of the round table. What's the topic of discussion? Civility, gentlemen. Always civility. Dear Satan, let's all put our hands on. Uh, let's all put our hands on uh, Ed Edwards' hemorrhoids. Uh, Just touch him, please, everybody. Let's pray for his hemorrhoids here. We're gonna pray that those I'm poisonous polyps. Hum num shabai. Hum That's right. Pop him, Holden. Pop him, Holden. <laughs> hum num shabai. Dear Satan, please pop Ed's poisonous polyps protruding from his asshole so he can poop properly Jesus, and have right? a help, happy, healthy week. I'm never gonna be better. Satan, help him. (laughs) Help him be better. (laughs) So he can poop properly and have a solid stool. Hail Satan. Ed could barely sit down last night. It was a fucking nightmare for him. I feel bad. I'm sick of watching movies standing up. Help this man, fiery demon creature from below. Help this man's asshole indeed. Amen, Satan. All right, that's the round table of gentlemen. We have a very light house here. Whoa! Tonight. Chess is just so hard when you're standing up. Do you, do you think you... Chess you, is so yeah, hard? It's hard to get in the mood. Because you were playing chess standing up because you couldn't sit down because your you asshole burnt that bad. <laughs> Switch up your activities, making play chess. Ping yeah. pong. Ping pong is for you right so now. Bad. Chess, is, yeah. <laughs> chess is not supposed to be a contact yeah. sport. You're not supposed yeah. to cry and get injured playing chess, Eddie. <laughs> All right, welcome to the round table of gentlemen. Let's just go around the table. Jackie's not here. Uh, Kevin's going to sit in for her. Uh, uh, Kevin Barnett's friend, also named Kevin. Thanks for being here, Kevin. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, Ed Larson, squirt, squirt, goes the blood. There it is, from your asshole. <laughs> Oh, to make Neely, hey, all the ladies out there, I'm still uh, in a relationship, maybe someday. Oh, it's very, very <laughs> close to ending. Maybe to someday soon, you get a little fucking junk shot from this boy. All right. <laughs> Everybody wants it. Uh, Kevin Barnett, none of that shit's ever going to happen for Holden. That's true. That's a very, very good yeah. fact. How you doing, Kevin? Uh, good, man. I don't got no voice, man. I've been drinking. Yeah, what were you drinking? Where were you drinking? You were in Canada? I was in Canada. For the Montreal Comedy Festival? Yes. It was wild? It was crazy, man. Fuck any chicks over there? Oh, yeah, man. A couple people had sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you party with any uh, big name uh, comedians? A uh, little bit. I mean, Chappelle, I was kind of hanging around his people, whatever, but I didn't talk to him too much. He, he had like a whole posse around. there, though? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. A yeah, posse yeah. of people. Yeah. That's it that was, Black Cowboy movie. Yeah, no, he was actually... <laughs> it is a brilliant Black Cowboy movie. Awesome. With Mario Van Peebles. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Van Peebles! The best Van Peebles. I'm telling you. <laughs> if you just hear the name Mario Van Peebles, you don't picture a black dude, right? You picture a Frenchman? Italian man, Mario. Yeah. yeah I guess so. Yeah. Anyway, it's one of the best last names I've ever heard. Van Peebles. So you were hanging out with Dave Chappelle? Not, I mean, I was. I didn't talk to him too much, but I was. I, I went to his show. I was backstage, and his whole crew and the people. They were all, but they came to this the party that everybody was at. It was weird. It was cool. weird that he was there. That's fucking awesome. He just wore his hoodie, and he's way bigger than he is, like muscular wise now. So mm. people didn't know it was him. Right, he must be like, strong in Africa. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> he went to Africa Niggas. for that little bit. <laughs> what? what? All right, uh, I'm, I'm Ben Kissel. We'll hear more about Montreal, I hope, because I was not there, and I want to know all about it. Um, all right, uh, let's get to a new story, Marcus. What's going on, buddy? To most, smelling another person's flatulence is an unpleasant experience. Mm-hmm. But the world's first case study of a man who was sexually aroused by other people passing wind has now been published. Ah. Just a Brit- now they're getting into this? Just now they're getting yeah. to this. A Brit- it's been around for a while, hasn't it? Farting on cakes. It's called, uh, no, farting on cakes is watching someone fart. This is a person who is aroused by the smell and the act of farting. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's called a proctophilia. All, All right. right. And they're studying it in a 22-year-old man from Illinois. The man who has been given the pseudonym Brad states that he is, quote, not sexually attracted to flatulence per se, but the person releasing the flatulence. Ooh. You know you have a bizarre sexual fetish when you have to go with a pseudonym. You know, when you can't even put your own name behind the thing that you're into. <laughs> like, that's kind of sad. If you're going to pick a pseudonym, pick something like Mr. Pastrami. Sure. Not, <laughs> not Brad. Well, Brad. Who gives a fuck? It's like me saying, hey, uh, call me Steve now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Are you point? into farts? We could. <laughs> I, well, I'm into my own farts. And I want to ask, what's, all right, you're into farts, you're into smelling farts. My where, own, yeah. where do you, no, other people's farts. Oh, okay. Where do you go? Where do I go? You know, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to go to uh, the dump. 
Okay. Gotta go to where unhealthy people are because they got the best farts. The docks. I'm seeing like a barbecue joint. Actually, you know, a lot of times these <laughs> vegan people, man, people eat a lot of, you know, I they, agree. the beans. I don't want their farts. I but want they meat have, farts. They Those have the stinkiest farts. farts. I actually know a guy who is in the fart shit, and I thought he okay, was Okay, what's joking. his name? Brad? I'm not going to say his <laughs> name. <laughs> we'll call him Brad. We'll call him Brad. But he was just like, I remember him talking about it at a party one time. It was some hot-ass girl, and she was like walking up the stairs like, oh, man, bro, she's walking up the stairs. I just wanted to fart in my fucking face, bro. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, I want to fart in my fucking mouth. And then he went up there, and he got her to fart in his mouth. <laughs> what? Which really? Is, yeah, she farted in his mouth. And he loved People it. People love he new experiences. It. Really? And, and so what, was it only women that he liked to have fart? Yeah, mouth, only girls he like having farted in his mouth, but it's a strange thing to think. It's like farting in someone's mouth is kind of intimate. He didn't even it make is. out with yeah. that girl. Yeah. She just fart. She was like, "All right, well, that's kind of weird. Let me fart in your mouth." Well, he more but, than made out with her. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she take her pants way off. Making no, out. Well, she was just there. I think she was wearing like a light skirt or something, mm. and she just. So he didn't so much get the shark. He mostly just got the airy fart. Yeah, he got the. He just took the whole thing. His cheeks puffed out and everything. How was she hot? His cheeks puffed out. He took puffed out like a chipmunk eating a bunch of nuts. A second and a half. Of a fart. And wow. so then he told you, oh, I want that chick to fart into my mouth. And then your reaction was like, well, that's uh, oh, all right. Was he like, no, I'm just kidding around. No, he, I, he, I thought he was joking. He went and did it. And she had, oh, like, that's a, great. Did she have like a huge ass. She had a good ass. It was, well, no, it was like huge, but it was like nice. It okay. was nice. It was I'm little... telling you, man, liberal arts. You go, you break into a female dorm hot? room. How are the titties? Oh, yeah, she was hot. I mean, it, I mean, you break into a, a female liberal dorm room. All those girls going through their vegan phase, those bathrooms smell potent. That's yeah, vegans are intense. And I think he, he actually ended up fucking that girl. And I think her mentality was, is like, if he's going to let me fart in his mouth, he'll at least like take me to a nice dinner at some point. Sure. So she understood. She right. got it. Now, I Kissel, it out. I wouldn't Kissel, think that. I mean, if you're a lady, <laughs> if you're a lady and a man just wants you to fart, I feel like it's almost a liberating thing because women are always like, oh, I have to fart so bad, but I can't fart. Girls don't fart. He's not going to want to fuck me if I fart. But if you know yeah. you're with a dude who's just like, let it go, baby. That's how I get hard. That's how I come. That makes your life a lot easier. I well, guarantee I bet it. you got to produce farts all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I or agree that. that it makes it harder. Well, it depends yeah. if he's demanding the fart at like 10, 10 p.m. Every 10, 10 p.m. you must be tooting. Dude. Or if he's just like, whenever you got to go, baby, just let it, let, let it breathe. Yeah, if it's like that, I mean, I guarantee to you hot ass girls are just full of farts they got hours of farts just left in there just waiting because <laughs> yeah. The people, yeah the people ain't expecting the hot girls to just be farting all the time true if you saw a hot ass like a maxim model Right, right. Mm. just walking in the streets, just farting. Her career, her career is over. It's for you. done. <laughs> yeah. What are you into? Mostly farts. That's yeah. you're done. So if you fart into a mouth, it never even leaves. It never gets out into the air. <laughs> that fart has been saved by that dude's like mouth. Kirby, like, like Kirby, like Kirby. Remember that? Remember that Kirby's yeah. Dreamland? Yeah. All he did was suck in. <laughs> All he would do is suck in shit. Yeah. <laughs> suck it in sofas and stuff. Now, Ben, a little bird told me that you like chicks to piss in bowls for you. No, man, that's kept. Yeah. Kep is a roommate. He's not a bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like chicks to piss in birds. For, uh, in, uh, 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 piss in birds? Piss in birds. No, I don't like chicks to piss in bowls. I had to, We were having a conversation with our friend Kellen. He's a raging homosexual. He's a nice fella. And he was trying to say about how, like, oh, you know, people are judging me for being gay. And so I just exaggerated, uh, you know, sexuality. So when you say exaggerated, that means there was something to exaggerate from. So what was the original point that got you to pissing in bowls? You've just had them piss for you? Man, I'm just not going to say that I'm a great musician, but I will say that I enjoy what musicians like, and that means putting certain cameras in certain positions that might be in a bathroom. It doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, you asked the question earlier as to whether uh, I Kevin's... I feel like that's fine. I think it's fine. What? You asked the question earlier as to whether Kevin's friend was into just uh, girls or girls and guys. This guy, Brad... He likes both girls and guys. It doesn't uh -huh. matter to him. He said that his first experience with a proctophilia, it was when he heard that a girl that he had a crush on in school had passed wind during a lesson. He said, this blew my mind. Mm. Farts. <laughs> a simple world for this man. Says, I love it. A fart Wait till he gets a, fart. a load of me. <laughs> <laughs> a, fart, a fart is colorblind, is sex blind. You know, it's right. really beautiful. Yep. <laughs> Although there, you must, I mean, do you think you can smell the difference between a gender based on the fart? Yeah. Oh, no. You think? You don't think so, KB? No, 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 no. But you I think, don't think so, so either. Yeah, I think I think women's farts smell a little more feminine. You think so? No, man. Even if they stink real bad, you can smell the you know the care. 
Really? I think so. <laughs> it's more of a concern for animals and like PETA and stuff My like that. My mother has really horrible, disgusting farts. Your mother has no compassion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No <laughs> compassion either. And you but, can smell that in her farts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> I, and I have horrible, disgusting farts. That's right. Yeah, but Ed's there farts fill are, up the room. There worse. are a difference. Hers fill up the room also, but okay. there is a distinct smell. Because my mom farts and my dad, I always knew who farted in my house. Right. Ah. You could always tell by the stink. This right. is, it's like this a fingerprint. Is, Right, yeah. <laughs> All right, but you think that a female fart smells worse. I'm not sure about farts specifically, but at least somebody taking a horrible shit, it is the same. Because That's I'll right. say this. The one thing I know is that one time when I first moved to the city and I was working at Hollister, I went, I went there to interview. There was one of the hottest girls I've ever seen in my life. And she went in the bathroom right before me. Mm-hmm. And she oh, was you, in there we were talking for like about the story in the minutes. subway. Yeah, it was a long ass time ago. She went there for like 15 minutes. She comes out. Well, eight of those place, minutes were crying. Well, <laughs> I mean, during the shit, though. She was dressed nice as shit. She's in there for like 15 minutes. I go in there after her. The place reeks like suffocating. Like I fucking couldn't Can't. even breathe. She but now your friend Brad would have been totally into that. And that yeah, would have been yeah, like yeah. his space Brad camp. He would have been floating shit. around and the, everything. The worst part about it was, was I flipped up the toy. Because she had the whole toy seat down. That's the thing. It mm-hmm. smelled that bad with the toy seat and the cover uh, down. That's so bad. She, wow. So I flipped it up to go pee. And there was diarrhea sauce all the way down oh. the entire length of the toilet. Uh, no. and it God, was, I love it diarrhea, was, diarrhea sauce. sauce. It sounds like something you sprinkle on diarrhea yeah. after you've already Literally done it to make it smell a little chunks. bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. then what happened? So you had to look look at this woman in the face after she knew that you knew that she just fucking sharded and shat all over that bathroom. She definitely had some guilt in her eyes when she walked out and saw me. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. And did you try to parlay that into a sexual situation? Because you could have. She would have done whatever you wanted. Yeah. No, to I do really if you would have just addressed the situation. She was already gone by the time I got out of the bathroom, man. Oh, she just so. pulled it out of. The, oh, she wasn't working there. She was just a uh, just. She actually did work there, but that was before I actually got the job. I was interviewing. I never saw her again. So now, oh, was working God at damn. Hollister the fucking worst job in the world? Or there was some niggas there, man. I was working there <laughs> overnight, and it was like some hood ass. It was the hood. Really? Yeah, yeah. It was. Oh, uh, you did the stock I did boy the stock shit. My shit. brother did oh, that. I you were one of those. I mean, Fitch actually, he would come in and work all night and un, uh, st- unbox clothes. Yeah, yeah, no. It was, well, it that's the difference, well. isn't it? I thought you were one of those guys on the outside with the six pack abs all cut up and yeah, stuff, getting the girls to come suit. in. No, I never. You were like the that, stock yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah. So when you clarify that, when you talk about working at Hollister, <laughs> I would have guessed stock boy. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Working at Hollister. We're just being realistic about how everybody looks in today, right now. So when I was working in Washington, what were you doing? I was a janitor at a <laughs> local bodega. <laughs> well, our man that uh, has a proctophilia, he engaged in his first act as a 16-year-old when he heard a male friend passed wind in front of him. He said, it was rather appealing in sound, and I found myself fixating on it. At first, I didn't want to admit I was into his farting, but eventually I decided to experiment. I set up a bet at some point and intentionally lost, with the wager being the right to fart in the loser's face for a week. I continued to lose such bets once every few weeks for about two years. This is a brilliant maneuver. That is a brilliant maneuver. At what point, Eddie, if you... What what point do you figure out that Brad just loves to be farted on? I mean, I just stop betting with him, you know, forcing me to fart on him. People are going to start talking about that anyway. Right. I mean, now you're the guy who just farts on your friend constantly. You ever fart in your hand and then smell it? Not yeah. really. It's not bad. You should try it sometime. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> you don't need, Ed, you don't need to fart in your hand. Your farts fucking fill up literally a room to capacity. Just, you know, every once in a while, just give it a shot. It's unbelievable. I'm, <laughs> Kevin, what do you think about all this now? Kevin, Kevin, Kevin's friend from Florida. You're in law school. Yeah. And I know there has been some previous uh, situations that have existed on the record books uh, where someone gets arrested for farting on somebody's face. They call it assault. Really? They absolutely have. Yeah. I have not read any case law on that, but I'm sure there has been a case. What do you think? What do you think about this fart situation? Is it more of a, a, an assault situation or a pleasurable scent? I'm gonna have to go with pleasurable scent. You like the fart? I'm not gonna go like, but I, I I can dig it. I can see where someone can dig it. Yeah. How do? How, how come? I don't know. It's, it's just. You know, it's like kinky talk. You got to change it up sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> what I love, too, is Fart that... in your mouth. From what you know? No. I mean, that's the thing. So you're in, bed, you're in bed with somebody, and they proposed the fart idea. I mean, what do you do? I guess... 
As, I mean, as a wo- I mean, there must be a woman. Should I who wa- start proposing my farts in bed instead of just <laughs> farting? Yeah, don't, oh yeah, edit. Ask him. I mean, God knows. It's just or just fart and be like, I did it for you. I did it for you. Oh, you're not into that. Oh, what the fuck? You know what? To disregard the next ten farts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even think about the next ten farts. I'm going to blow all over your body. It's frigid bitch. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting to me is from what you just said, it's it's really not just the smell and everything, but really the sound yeah. is what gets them off. Proct- the sound of a good rip. This is said by the professor who wrote this case study. He said, Aproctophiles are said to spend an abnormal amount of time thinking about farting and flatulence and have recurring intense sexual urges and fantasies and fantasies involving farting and flatulence. So as a straight man, I like a bust your gal. So is a silent but deadly fart Sort of like a flat-chested woman. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I still like women. Yeah. You know, I'm still like I like her pussy. Yeah. But you know, like that's so it's really the sound, and then the odor is the second it's, follow-up. It's both. It's the sound and the smell. Because I also wonder if maybe like he listens to like audio recordings of just fucking fart blasts, like in Kingpin when he just fell. No, what was it? Not uh, uh, Big, Big Lebowski, Lebowski when he just listens to uh, bowling, bowling. Bowling. Yeah, he strikes. just sits there yeah. and like <laughs> listens to fart smells. Maybe like has some like. Doo doo stink something he smells. Sure, like can a candle, it. a doo doo candle. Yeah, like some poopy candle. Yeah. Does he have a poopy candle, Marcus? <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's a market for a fart candle. You there's, know, there's right? fart sprays. Oh, I've got a story about fart it's sprays. A perfect, oh, really? Hey. A perfect impromptu segue. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It. A potent mixture of fart spray and deer repellent intended to be a prank turned serious Wednesday when more than a dozen campers from the Christian run Camp Woe Me Too in Jarrettsville, Maryland had Woe to be Me de- Too have had sex with the pastor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be decontaminated while six were hospitalized due to physical reactions. Really? According Whoa. to the Falston Patch, the Hartford County Hazmat team was called to the camp at around 10 p.m. Wednesday after initial reports that a 16-year-old boy needed medical assistance for eye and respiratory irritation. Shortly after that, however, additional medical units had to be sent to the camp to treat more than a dozen patients with similar symptoms. A hazmat team later concluded that deer spray in a product known as liquid ass had been sprayed. (laughs) I know liquid ass. You You have liquid ass ass on it? I mean, I have it right now, but that's different. Oh, it's a different liquid ass. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was just called Eddie's Hole. <laughs> they sprayed it in two cabins, and it resulted in the emergency services being called. They That's... called the hazmat team for liquid ass and deer spray, right? Yeah, liquid ass and deer repellent. What's Where was this again? Uh, this was in Maryland. Oh, oh right. come on. I've never heard of this liquid ass before. This yeah, is I've never heard of this either, man. This uh, is just a fun in game? I was a, a big gag? stink bomb kid when I was young. We, yeah. when I, One time when I went to South Carolina, south of the border, I just bought a shit ton of stink bombs. And okay. me, me and my buddy Corey, he's a teacher now. That's uh, we, uh, <laughs> every day we used to go uh, stink bomb the flower store. So what do you so do when you stink fun. bomb it? What? What is, do you have to light a stink bomb on fire or you just throw something in there? It's a little glass thing and you smash it on the ground. Like Batman. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, a little okay. it's a little yep. glass guy. Yeah, we had him too, yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. Sm- yeah, they were great. great. Unbelievably so just more of a primitive liquid ass. Yeah, yeah, and there's also the spray too, and the spray's fun, but it's not it doesn't stay as long. Dude, okay. a stink bomb, yeah, those little glass ones, like, dude, it fucking makes the whole space reek for a very long time. I just feel like you put a lot of glass on the floor. It we seems used to a little throw dangerous. Them at, yeah, well, gives a fuck. I was you know, no, eleven, twelve. Okay. Here, here's we used why to do the- an office max too. Here's why the uh, that's that's nice. I like that. Here's why uh, the mixture was so particularly bad because deer repellent has the smell of rotten eggs. Yeah. Okay. So mm. it's rotten eggs and farts. Here is to bring wow. deer closer. They spray piss. Uh, here's a, a review from Amazon. Mm-hmm. Uh, one reviewer wrote: For some reason, I thought this would be the funniest prank ever. Problem is, I can't even touch the bottles. The bottoms, the, the bottles themselves smell so bad, it gets on your fingers and anything else it comes in contact with. The smell is pretty putrid. I can't even describe it. My advice, wear gloves. Yeah, wear gloves. That was a review for liquid ass? For liquid ass, This yeah. is sort of the equivalent of bottled water, isn't it? Like, you can just get water anywhere. But you, and you can also just get fart smell anywhere. Just can create you? it yourself. Well, I don't know, man. Uh, here's what the liquid ass manufacturer's website says. Liquid ass is a uniquely stinky butt crack smell in a bottle. Uniquely <laughs> <laughs> stinky butt crack smell. God, it's like I run this company. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, it, How I'm aren't you the CEO ass. of this, Eddie? <laughs> I'm fucking fans, up. Man. Yeah. When my first million, I'm buying liquid ass. <laughs> <laughs> 
But if you don't have the, I mean, if you don't have the money for liquid ass, just eat a burrito. I mean, you can really, you can make this at home. Yeah, but how do you bottle ass. that? I mean, how do you contain you're it? You're bottling yeah. shit. You're not going to get sick off a of liquid ass like you would get like diphtheria if you sprayed a bunch of shit on people. Diphtheria or yeah. what? Or what? That's, that's the most medical term I've ever heard you exactly. say. I was thinking about when the fuck did, <laughs> he, did you hear that? Kevin? How did that come out of your lips? Just diphtheria. <laughs> yeah. What are you googling? You didn't how do you even know this? Stunt. You guys don't know the disease that shit gives you when you eat it. How yeah. is this the only no. medical? <laughs> Thing that you know, that? and you just said it like you've been thinking about this for years, Eddie. God damn! I think he made it up. It's I think he made up a word. Like you dip your cone in shit and you get sick. Your cone? The yeah, your only cone? medical oh, okay. word that just flew <laughs> off your tongue. Wow, we uncovered it. This is yeah. amazing. It, it's characterized by a sore throat, low fever, and an adherent membrane on the tonsils, pharynx, and or nasal ca- ca- uh. cavity. Every time I write about something on this show, people get up in arms. Like, it's you know, a rare it's, thing. It's not a rare thing. thing. It's a rare thing. I am man. right a lot. You're you a dickhead. Like you only know science if it's about ass. It's about <laughs> shit ass. related I know, stuff. I know animal stuff. He animal does know stuff. animal stuff. Yeah. He does know animal he stuff. Knows animal stuff. <laughs> In 1613, Spain experienced an epidemic of diphtheria. The year is known as El Año de los Garretillos. Uh, year of the dip. Year of the dip. <laughs> Translation. The year of strangulations. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So, and this is a deadly disease diphtheria. Yeah. You can it, just... can, it can be deadly, yes. Okay. I could just see Ed just like as a kid just waking up one morning and be like... I gotta learn about what my ass can do to the world. <laughs> I'm changing this place for the worst. I got one weapon. That's right. I'm gonna learn how to use it. It's a cannon. Send me to Iraq. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to these kids using that uh, liquid ass? Did they get in major trouble? Six of them. They didn't. Say, they don't say what happened to the kids who uh, sprayed the sprayed liquid. It, okay. Ass. All I know is that six kids went to the hospital. Fuck For mace. what? Like what was the respiratory and uh, eye infection? They what? couldn't yes. breathe and shit. Yeah, they couldn't breathe or see. Why do cops use mace? Why don't they use liquid ass? Did that mean a protest with liquid ass would work so much better? Deer repellent that got these kids. Yeah, exactly. You can't mix liquid ass and deer repellent. We all know that shit. (laughs) Everybody knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a superhuman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, was it napalm? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, did y'all ever make napalm when you were kids? Once. Yeah. How do you make napalm? Yeah. Tin Ga- foil in the soda bottle with the uh, Gas- styrofoam. Gasoline and styrofoam. What? That makes tin napalm foil too, right? I didn't use tin foil. We use tin foil, orange juice. Napalm's a gas, right? No, no it's no, a no, li- no. it's kind of a sticky gel-like substance. It's a metal that melts when it hits your body. Yeah, that's uh. why it's so bad. Is because it sticks to your body as it burns. Yeah, burns. Right. Through you ever you. see the picture of the kid with napalm all over him? Yeah. No. How do you no. do? Uh, you know, he's famous for the picture. He survived. Theory. Or she survived. It was a girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's not doing good these okay. days. Okay. No, it's not a good thing to have happen to you. Bad. Um. All right. So that's how you make napalm, kids. So go out there. And- <laughs> Make sure you make a batch for yourself. Throw How it on some friends. How does it not burn through the bottle? Hmm? How does it not burn through the bottle? You make it in a bottle. You have to light it on fire. Yeah, it explodes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, or there's else a, you just shake it and throw it. Yeah, there's an ignition device usually. Right, and then and then it, the, the bottle explodes and the shit just goes everywhere. Did you burn a cow with this, Marcus? No, but I did shoot cows with the potato gun I made from the same cookbook. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem nearly as bad as Napal. You the had an- the Anarchist cookbook? Program? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Uh, but I also cross-referenced it with other websites as to see which recipes killed you. Oh, God. Some nice. recipes will kill you. Man, I can't believe I used to still just on read about, like, animals and just learn about their facts and what they ate. Love them. That was what I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I did that, too. <laughs> We've discussed this. You taste a difference when you beat an animal. When you beat the cow with the potatoes, it does taste a little bit different. It does. Yeah. Tenderizing. Oh. Yeah, it's a tenderizing thing. Back when I was a kid, I would just draw faces on my penis and talk, make it talk to me. What did it say? Oh, you know, <laughs> stay home. <laughs> Don't leave the house. You do bad things when you leave the house. Hey, hey. And I'd be like, thank you, Mr. Hat, because he had a little top hat on him. Because I found a tiny top hat in the <laughs> then store. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he'd be like, don't leave, don't leave. That's when the ghouls get you, you know, because right, right. then I'd go, if I ever left the house, and, oh, some house, something else was set on fire or something like that. That's just what happened. Yeah, I tried to stay home as much as humanly possible. Um, and, then I, and then I made it, uh, I turned it into a volcano after that. Kevin's friend, Kevin. What do you want to get? Uh, what do you want to get sprayed with more? Pepper spray or liquid ass, or get hit with a potato gun? Is that all my options? Those are. Oh, that's it. Those are your options. That's it. You're protesting something. Something's gone wrong in your local community. You're I, upset. I, I, I need this in my life. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to go with uh, pepper spray. Pepper spray is where yeah. you're going. I, I feel like, like I'm gonna, gonna do pepper it justice spray too. Huh? Yeah, I agree. This is why cops need to use liquid ass. Yeah, everyone wants to be pepper sprayed. Definitely, potato gun can kill you. Oh sure. Yeah, I'm going liquid ass. But you you're can dodge a potato ass? gun. That's the thing. I was gonna say potato gun is where I would go. No, you can yeah. dodge it though. You can dodge it. I got quick twitch muscle fiber, man. A lot of it. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's what slavery did. So that's right. <laughs> that's right. I have a lot of that, so I can dodge a potato gun yeah, pretty quickly. Irish always throw potatoes at you. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> the most racist of all the whites, the Irish, made the strongest of all the people, the blacks. It's a terrible, vicious cycle that I don't fucking love. God damn it. All right, Marcus, let's go to another news story. Women are living in fear of a hairy sex dwarf reported to suck on his unsuspecting victims. The all right. Well, right. Say that one more suck time. On. <laughs> Women are living in fear of a hairy sex dwarf reported to suck on his unsuspecting victims. Okay, that was you said it right. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin's friend Kevin, where were you last night? The creature I was, uh, apparently hanging out at that news story. I don't know. <laughs> the creature known as Tokoloche has apparently been causing havoc in the village Beth Bethany in Namibia. He's a man. They're calling him a creature. <laughs> he's in southern Africa, and he's been doing it since early this year. The Tokoloshi sexually abused us, reported Veterica Gawias, a 37-year-old mother of six. Gawias said Damn. that she was shocked by the ordeal and is very afraid as this unexplained phenomenon presents a particular kind of hell for women in the village. Another woman who reportedly suffered the torment of the breast-sucking Tokoloshi refused to speak out of fear. <laughs> it's just a guy, right? <laughs> they made a man a god? He's just a groper. Like Park Slope had the Park Slope groper, a he, small Mexican fellow. He was a midget. Yes, a small midget Mexican villain, but they made him a god. What does Tokoloche mean? I don't know what Tokoloche literally means. Maybe Harry, se Harry Sex Dwarf. Doesn't <laughs> Africa have the worst like rape problems in all of the world? Oh, They're yeah. worried about a groping, a groping dwarf? Well, this works in Africa's problems with sorcery and magic in general. A whole series of different things. <laughs> yeah, Africa's got a lot of problems. This is the worst thing that's happened to this town, though. This little hairy fella going and grabbing tits and trying to uh, suck on the nipples, huh? Well, the husband of Gawesis... Uh, they won't even call him a man. No, he's Totoloche. Or uh, Tokoloche. <laughs> yeah. This guy is like, he's brilliant. He's like, with any luck, they'll revere me as a god. <laughs> he's <laughs> just groping women. <laughs> the husband of the victim reiterated the claims about the Tokoloche and said, My wife and some other women complained about the sexually abusive breast-sucking Tokoloche. I find it hilarious. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Someone's got to squeeze those disgusting five-inch nipples of my poor wife. <laughs> the residents are now hoping to bring in prophets to pray for them as the matter has gotten out of hand. Grab him! Just, he's yeah, sucking on your titty. Grab, put your arms around him. Or are they afraid that he's like sucking the life force out of him or something like that? Probably something yeah, about some sucking the life force. He just wants there. milk. Right. <laughs> the fees charged to exercise the town are exorbitant, and beyond the means of the poverty-stricken rural community, Gawisa said, We plan to bring profits, one of whom has asked for $10,000, while another has asked for $2,800 to Those are profits. I'll tell you what, man. We need to fly... <laughs> We need to fly this nigga out to Miami because he's out there in Africa sucking on all types of... They're talking about sorcery and all this. So, these, you know, there's some sad African titties. If yeah. he flew him out to Miami, he would lose his mind and he'd get arrested immediately. Probably his head would explode, but we need yeah. to send him out there first and let him suck on some titties. Tokoloche, it is very politically incorrect to call it mentioned such things, but yeah. <laughs> yep. I like it. I like what they're doing okay. out there. An elderly married man at the town is suspected of being behind the sexually abusive Tokoloche. What do you mean? It's an old guy that's going around yeah, sucking some on titties. Old man sucking on tits. I don't see why this is an issue. What do you mean, Ed? He's it's an old man. Again, with your old man thing. I mean, at any age, you can't just go grabbing and groping titties. At and 70 on... years old, you can go around grabbing and groping titties. Oh, man, I, I can't doubt wait he's... to be 70. Oh, Ooh, boy. It's cute. Here's what, the man's here's what the man's defense is. He, sa he has asked them for forgiveness and has said that, quote, the thing is not meant to harm you, but was sent to someone else. That doesn't make any <laughs> sense. No, that makes no sense. Tokoloche would have spoke for himself, but it all sounds like... <laughs> Why is it Tokoloche that's so Spanish sounding? This is in Africa, right? Tokoloche. So well, weird. I mean, it's in South Africa, right? Uh, this is in Namibia. 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 <laughs> 
Correct. <laughs> Namibia. 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 And by the way, their currency, uh, the $2,800 for the sorcerer, <laughs> that equals to about $280 American. Oh, okay. I mean, you just don't need a sorcerer, but I suppose sorcerer, that's just their police force, right? The sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. bringing in as a cop, as a, that's what they call them. Yeah. It's got to be the same thing. I think the sorcerer is the judge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It says, the existence of this mythical creature cannot be verified, and to date, no proof exists to the veracity of the uh, reports from the village of Bethany. Just oh, line up your ladies, man. have them all topless, and wait he for them to come in and attack. He can't be that quick. He's a super old dude. Yeah, I like that, Ben. Bait him. Bait yeah, him Yeah, you in. gotta bait him, and then just like grab him I and see what he's all the... about. Cut some yeah. tips off a chick. Glue him to the ground. <laughs> Glue yeah, him to a man. he's <laughs> sucking on the ground. Apparently, the Tokoloche is a mythical Zulu creature. Okay. Huh? He is a dwarf-like water sprite, and it is considered a mischievous and evil spirit that beca- that can become invisible by swallowing a pebble. It sounds like they <laughs> really <laughs> have a Tokoloche on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all all real. Uh, he swallows a pebble and becomes invisible? Yes. Oh, wow. God, they got such fun, like, mystical shit out there, man. Yeah. We could all go out there and be weird mystical creatures if we wanted to. Oh, you definitely. Just read up on this shit and then go, you know. Do they have any, yeah. Do they have any, like, uh, overweight white guy myth <laughs> myth? <laughs> sort of like a <laughs> <in Africa? laughs> bumpy neck type individuals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get on a boat with them. Yeah. Unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. The only way you can get rid of a Tokoloshe is to call in Anunga, who is a witch doctor who has the power to banish him from the area. Interesting. Hmm. Did they call in the Nunga? Nunga. The Nunga. Nunga. Did they call in the Nunga? No, they, they did. That's what sorcerer. I said. Is that the Nunga's asking 280 bucks to come in and get hey, rid of the it. Nunga! Yeah, and all What's the, the fucking deal? All the Nunga's been you doing got a shark sucking on tits. <laughs> I mean, maybe the ladies secretly tits. like it. In order to cleanse the town, I must suck all of the villagers' breasts. Cops don't work for free. You want to get rid of the Tokoloshe, you pay your Nunga. I agree. You got to pay the Nunga. <laughs> Everybody knows it. Uh, the only way to keep the Tokoloshe away at night is to put a brick beneath each leg of one's bed. However, this will not protect anything but the person whose bed it is Marcus along with make, the bed itself. It'll make the bed too tall. <laughs> 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 It's amazing, yeah. You can't reach it. You can't reach your tits. <laughs> 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 it's not a bad way. It's not a bad technique. <laughs> I just see this little guy trying he to get He's jumping. He's jumping up at the bed. <laughs> it is very funny how cute, cute a predator can be if he can't get to you. Yeah. Like, that's pretty adorable. <laughs> it's the most practical. All this sorcery and religion is like right. the most practical. Well, no, you just put some bricks on the bed and he uh, can't jump up there. <laughs> <laughs> but what if he Easy. comes with a tiny ladder? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, this will not protect anything but the person whose bed it is along, though, with the bed itself, as it may instead cause havoc not involving said people. Oh. So say an evil person sends a tokoloshe to you. Bring it on. If you put the bricks on your bed, then the tokoloshe has got to suck on someone's titties. Yeah. So <laughs> might go to your daughter's room. Oh. Might go to your neighbor's house. You don't know. So you, in effect, if you're putting the bricks on your bed, you're damning someone else to some titty sucking. That's fine. <laughs> That's yeah, fine. They should get some bricks, too. That's right. Everyone's got to get everyone bricks. Everyone get bricks. Everyone in Africa get bricks. Tall Storm, beds, yeah. everyone. Storm's coming. Get some sandbags. Yeah. Get ready. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Send him to the other fucking village. Send him to the other fucking village. It is it. so funny to hear you say that sentence, damning someone to get their titties stuck. <laughs> Right. I feel like it's always pleasant for both parties. Yeah. <laughs> like, Usually. Yeah. It's, it's a hairy it sex midget. Yeah, that's the problem. It's a stinky, hairy sex midget. Someone just needs to fuck this uh, sex midget. That's really what's going on here. It needs to find love. Get a monkey. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> little work. <laughs> it usually causes mischief among school children, though. So He's a pedophile. He's partly a pedophile. Right, mostly a pedophile. Yeah. How can he be partly a pedophile? I feel like that's the that's the quality that most, uh, you know, it's how, like, if, like, a black chick and, like, a white dude get together, the kid's going to come out black because, like, the black gene is dominant. I feel like pedophilia is, like, that's the dominant trait. You see, you're like, in that's a, the thing. You're in what a pitch you? black room, and, like, and then you feel a little, a little if your hiney gets touched, and you feel a little... Run away. <laughs> run away to see your little pitter patters run around. Yeah. It's like a horror movie, but like, you know, you're just getting your shit grabbed. Yeah, you just get your nipples sucked. Tokoloshe. And it sucks the nipples of men as well. Does it? Does Would it? you no. mind that if you woke up with some sucked nipples? That's I what I'm woke, saying. How do you know? 
I mean, you, they'll be all like kind of raw. Yeah, they'll be raw <laughs> and uh, swole. They'll be raw and swole. A little droplets form down. I think it's fine. I feel like it's perfectly pleasant. As yeah, I said right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. guess this is why he doesn't attack men. Men are complaining about it. Yeah. I feel like I would wig him out, put a little step stool at the end of my bed. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, like, better than the bricks. Yeah, come on up. Yeah, it's not mischief for me. It's completely welcome and normal. I mean, the, the tokoloche causes a lot of trouble around Africa. I just found another story but back in 2001. A medicine man killed a baby because he believed it was a tokoloche. Oh, my God. But it's just a baby. It was a baby. Was it a hairy baby? Was it me? Was it a grabby baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of a hey, bizarre abortion. I'm looking. I mean, I'm looking for the words. I'm scanning for hairy and grabby. I'm not seeing anything. Mm. He, although it did say that he punched and slapped the child until it died. Ugh. That'll happen. Yeah. Man, people hate tokoloches. I mean, if it's a hairy baby, you do have to kill it, right? No. You sell it to the freak show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put they don't have the, freak shows. Put it in the basement or an attic. Not that you know of. Very interesting stuff. <laughs> Very interesting stuff indeed. I bet there is an African freak show. I have no idea. I bet it's phenomenal. What I I'm was sure wondering, actually, when he was talking about this story, are there whorehouses in African tribes in, or, or in Africa? Uh, oh, whorehouses, sure. prostitution. Whorehouses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. whorehouses, uh, what, outdoors. Yeah, all of outdoors. <laughs> Just sell them for. <laughs> like, here's the snake. I don't care. Are you trying this? to say? Man, you trying to say Africans are animals? I'm talking about. Of in course, tribes. we got whorehouses, man. <laughs> You're That's civilized. Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Boy, you don't want to type in African whorehouse to Google. What happens? Oh, probably sad stuff. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> So there's a bunch of them. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of, I mean, Slave, it's like... Sex slavery stuff, X right? hamster, fresh ebony sex dot com. Just, oh, it it's just all says, porn sites. It just says South African whorehouse over and over and over again. And then South African whorehouse too, and... I'm that doesn't check this sound out when sad. That just sounds like different yeah, porn. Yeah, sounds popular. Dude, like, yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? I don't know. Why is it sad? Marcus, are you sad? Yeah, I'm sad. Let's move on, Marcus. <laughs> What's another story? For completely different reasons, Salem, Oregon's traffic engineer has turned down a proposal to erect a giant statue of a bloodied bandaged chicken on crutches at the site where a commercial truck hauling more than 5,000 live chickens flipped over recently. Did all the chickens die? Most of the chickens died. This is oh, like the chicken my. ghost bike. I hate the ghost bike. Yeah. You know, it always drives you because you're just distracting everyone who's driving. They're going to get sad that there's a ghost bike and hit someone else on a fucking bike. Right. For those that don't know, a ghost bike is a bike painted white in an area that a biker was uh, hit by a car or just overall died. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm with you. But the ghost bike is a nice little memorial. You know, it's a nice no, little thing that you can not. do. Their grave is a memorial. Sure, but in, you know, in this situation, it's a chicken ghost bike. It's a chicken on crutches. Yeah, police have said, uh, quote, a considerable, a considerable number of chickens died in the July 9th crash and its six-hour cleanup. So oh, apparently man. they died both during the crash and when they were trying to get all the Mostly chickens Mostly during the, the cleanup. Mostly yeah, yeah, during yeah, the cleanup. Definitely. When are you going to get a chance to step on a chicken and no one's going to notice? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can just kill any chicken you want. <laughs> yeah, they, this is a nice memorial for these chickens. Yeah, what they want the chicken to be five foot five inches. That's not bad. A five foot yeah. five inch chicken on crutches as well. Could, yeah. you, could you take him, Ben? In a no. Fight? A five foot five inch chicken? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. You don't think he could? Absolutely on not. On a crutch? It's they're talons, winged though. beasts. Yeah, they're huge creatures from hell. There's no way that if you could, you, there's no way you could take on a five foot five chicken. Yeah. I just show him its own eggs. Hey, like, you I'll can hit it with babies. a bat. <laughs> no, you can't hit it with a bat. Even it's then, huge. No, they're fast. They're huge. Dude, think about a chicken. There's people who can't fuck up a regular chicken. That's you right. You're talking about a five foot five inch chicken. Think they about got that the claws. It's hard to catch an eight inch chicken. They run around so quick. But if it goes at you and you hit it with a bat, it's just like ball bull. Look, you ever seen mm. Jurassic Park? Think about it. Yeah. Those velociraptors were essentially five foot five inch chickens. Nah, they sure. were like six two. Think it, nah, nah. You were, <laughs> think about that shit for a second, man. Look, I researched this shit, man. Yeah, <laughs> I they know have teeth. about it. Yeah, this is this. I'm passionate about this. Chickens type of don't shit. have teeth. Look, chicken have teeth. Chickens got teeth. Yeah, vestigial. Okay, vestigial, they can grow that shit. They need vestigial. Vestigial. Oh yeah. What does that mean? That is a uh, ancestral thing. So, for example, they're you know human beings. We have tail bones. That That's is a right. vestigial bone because we do not need a tail. Okay, but it's still there. From an evolutionary purpose. Thank you. It is shrinking into our backs. Yeah. I mean, I hear dropping knowledge on some niggas. I once dated a girl. So I once dated a girl who had a vestigial tail or a vestigial tail. Oh, I've yeah. been there before. It's very strange. It's very strange. Dude, I was, I you, fucked the tail, you fucked the tail, girl. Yeah, man. 
Wow. How long was the tail? This? It was probably about an inch. It yeah. was long enough. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's long enough <laughs> to make a note. Listen, you haven't uh, felt true pain until the first time that you notice that it's there. Yeah. And then you're telling the girl to get on top of you. And she's like, I'm like, you're in reverse cowgirl. And she's like, well, what if I just lean back? Because she doesn't want you to see it because you're self-conscious. And then you feel it on your stomach. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's fine. If you're fucking a chick from behind and she has a tail, at the very least, you know when it's wagging, she's coming. That's okay. It's a nice little telltale sign. She's happy, yeah. Yeah. Did you? you have prior knowledge to this tale up until that point? Oh, no, no, no. I was uh, lied to. I was bamboozled. Well, I mean, <laughs> what is she supposed to say? I mean, she can't be like, I love, uh, you know, I love uh, Lord of the Rings and a whole series of other Peter I Jackson like movies. I have a tale. I love Before aliens. I got naked, that'd be something I'd try to joke around about, like, you know. I definitely wouldn't bring it up. I'd still fuck a girl she had a tail. You well, would yeah, bang a chick. Like, with I mean, of tail? course we still. I mean, yeah. Yeah, well, I still fuck her. Of when course. chicks see Ed's yeah. fucking so you horrific had a tail balls, they don't. Yeah. Love no, he's not horrific balls. He's a masculine, mm-hmm. godlike nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got big grapefruits. Marcus, you were with a chick with a tail. Yeah, I dated it for like two months. Whoa. Kevin, you were with a chick with a tail. Very accidentally. Other Kevin, Kevin's friend, Kevin. Are you? Have you ever been with a chick with a tail? No, I have not. But I'm kind of right. interested in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, grab it? Thirty-three percent of the people here. Yeah. Yeah. Can you grab the tail? There was enough to grab, yes. So if you were on, if you were fucking her from behind, like instead of grabbing her hair, you could have just like held on to the tail. Yeah. Got your tail. Yeah, Got your yeah, tail. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, your thumb through Like your literally did it? Yeah. Yeah, like, if I wanted to, that could have happened. If I had a tail, I'd cut it off. I don't think you can cut it off. It's part of your back. It's part of your spinal cord. Really? You can yeah. remove them. No, you you can can usually them usually they remove them at birth. More yeah. people are born with tails than you realize. You oh. think so? My oh, kids, I know so. My kids keep like it Kevin. as tail. This is what I do research on. <laughs> <laughs> my kids keeping the tail. Absolutely. Is there a Marcus Google tail fetish? I want to know if I'm God, sure there is. There oh, must yeah. be some guys who love the idea of a chick with because a tail. Here's, here's the problem with the situation. Was, oh, because, it's a Japanese thing. Is it really? Uh, yeah, they, of they course have, it They have be. tails that wag and stuff that are, they see? attach to their hearts. And they like it, as your blood goes and like as you're happy, your tail will wag. So it'll show that the person what? you're on a date with. I swear to fucking god, uh, you like it's a tail that they attach to your fucking cardiovascular system. Wow. And they, yeah, and it's and it, it shows if you're happy or not, and it wags. There's a whole video about it. It's amazing. Wow. All right, Marcus. Do we have any pics? I would really like to see this. I can't. I'm having our time conceptualizing what a like. Vestigial tail. What a like. woman you, with a tail is on? YouTube yeah. Japanese tail. I mean, it just looks like a tail. It looks like well, if you were seen that shallow inserted, but No, yeah, no, that's like a belt, the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about like a belt type situation. I don't want to see that. I want to see uh, what they were fucking, what you were fucking. I'm trying to find it. Google. Uh, shithead. Yeah, sh- Google shithead. That'll work. <laughs> There it is. That's a woman with a tail right there. Wow. Oh, no. All right. Oh, wow. She's real. She's good looking. Yeah, Yeah, that is real. She's attractive. Now, Kevin, does that remind you of your last sexual conquest? I mean, that's just on a whole different level. That's a bigger one, but more like that one there, kind of a tinier tail. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that's it. Is that that really it? It's like a butt clip. Yeah, it is sort of like a butt clip, and then the baby with a huge tail, a demon fuck. spawn. You should probably wow, drown that child. I thought he was holding up a dog. Yeah, that yeah. looks like a worm coming out of a baby's back. All oh, right, and another God. tail this there. Looks like okay. dogs. Yeah, they look. They look like dog tails. I'm wow. actually surprised at myself for never googling this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just tried to forget it. That is a lot longer than I thought it would be. Huh? Kirk Cameron has a tail. Wow! Isn't that something? He's a fucking devil. I guess so. I mean, that's not so bad. If you find a if you find a tail on a girl or an elongated clit or like just like super long like four inch nipples, like what's worse? I've had pig nipples before. You've had these nipples. They suck. How long are we talking? I'd rather have a big clit than big nipples. You think so? I'm talking about like it's part of a vagina. Yeah, probably like an inch, maybe less. I don't know. I was drunk, so maybe I'm exaggerating. But they were too long, too long. They what, did not feel this? right. The nipples? Yeah, pig nipples. Like they just went yeah. out too far. Pig you know? nipples. First yeah. real live nipples I ever saw were so long. Yeah, yours were what two inches long or so, At right? At least my friend's mother. She was in her bathrobe. She leaned over. I was so young. Yeah, saw yeah, these yeah. Huge yeah. nipples. I was really freaked out by what nipples were for the rest of, until I saw <laughs> real ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ten I mean, years I was. Just confused. I'm sorry. I mean, Kevin, man. what do you think about a big nipple? Do you like it? Kevin's Kevin, Kevin's friend, Kevin? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You like a big, long, three-inch nipple? I'm not going to say I like it, but I'm going to definitely say I'm interested. You wouldn't stop <laughs> fucking a chick with big, old, long nipples like that? No, why would I stop? And we, and you really can't stop fucking a chick if she has a tail either. 
That's rude. That's the thing that you know. Oh, I, I did. You did stop fucking. Why her, would Kevin? you stop? It, I mean, here's the pro- Here's what the issue was. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't because the tail. It was another I, thing. I felt like I felt like I was being. She was trying to cast her and snare on me. This what do you is mean? Starcraft terminology and snare is a t- no, no. You <laughs> underperformed. <laughs> no, no, no. Here's what it was because you know I was talking to a girl, but then it started off that she would it, no smashing, but she was just like just like would drop dome for like a month, right? Mm-hmm. right. That was cool. She was very. Ta- you know, yeah, technique sure. was great. Girl with the tails, great. So this is happening. Oh, oh, she has Definitely. to be. Yeah, exactly. And so finally, we started smashing. It was like, oh wow, and, and, you know. And then, you know, whenever I feel like I you did, breezed over a lot of disgusting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when I went from the from the back, it was like she would always like put her hand like back there, like, huh. the, and I always I was like, oh maybe there's just some cool girl shit that she's doing, like this. Oh, move my hand. Yeah, here like how chicks the right. time. like they rub their pussies. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was one of those mind. things. Like maybe this is one of those she things that she's into. Her. So there was like a, it was a good like four or five times where she was doing. That and I right. had no idea. And literally, the time that I spoke about before, when she was like, So wait, you wait. fucked her from behind four or five times before oh, yeah. you found out and about the was, yeah, wow. This is how time. guys fuck trannies. <laughs> this is how guys get fucking screwed I'm over by fucking a bunch of dudes. You know? I'm reckless, man. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at one point, she removed her hand. That was the thing. When the, 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 the time I talked about earlier, when it was like reverse cowgirl, and I thought I saw something, and I was like, I'm not really sure about like this. The haunting. And then she could tell, she because she couldn't really put her hand there during that time and then she was like well uh what if i just lean back which was a very strange suggestion and i was like okay and she did it and i just felt it on my stomach (laughs) (laughs) did you think at first maybe she like shat on you or something no no i felt it like sharp like a dagger oh Oh, it's just a piece of bone bone, right yeah oh and after that i was like i've never Never, I just stopped talking. You've heard it here first, everybody. Kevin Barnett will not again fuck a chick with a tail. (laughs) I found a legend. That's a legend. (laughs) I found a person who has a fetish for tails. All right, what are they? What are they into? Why do they like it? Uh, It says my first fascination with tails began when I saw the donkey transformation scene in Disney's Pinocchio. Oh, Oh, he was molested during that scene. Those donkey (laughs) tails swelling up and shredding through the character's pants spawned a fetish lasting to adulthood. Really. That's all I got because if I want to read more, I have to sign up for experienceproject.com. Yikes. Don't, don't sign want, up I'm for not going to do that. Don't sign up Yeah, for they that. like little boys with tails. Yeah. I guess they do. So this guy, Walt, Disney has created some very bizarre fetishes. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of disgusting Centaur things. fetishes. Large people, nose people fetishes. People want to fuck their... horsemen. Sure. Uh, you know, and that's everything. Any mid- mass, ma- uh, majestic or magical creature mermaid fetishes, you know? I just never understand fetishes. What, what do you is, mean you don't understand fetishes? It's, it's, put a dick in a pussy. Let's get on with it. No, it's oh, something please, that Ed. goes down. Like he said, it's something that, that you see or whatever during a weird sexual time in your upbringing and you sexualize it mm-hmm. and it sticks with you. Like for me, I have a very simple, like I, you know, you can barely call it a fetish, but I like chicks in heels. And that was because like when I was first getting turned on, like it was always chicks in high heels. I don't know, like I love high heels. That's like, pretty I, standard I though. Notice he- but I notice heels. Like I notice that right off the bat, if you're wearing heels, like I'm immediately like gonna pay attention to you. Really? You're a mogul, yeah. you're a rapper, you know, you got a, you a, you a big career ahead of you. A lot of guys a lot of very successful men like the heels. Marcus is currently looking at uh, centaur porn, uh, which is women uh, photoshopped uh, to look like centaurs there, and apparently a lot of guys with the four legs and the two arms. Kevin, what do you think about when you watch these images here? Is this getting you hard? Is this getting you aroused? Do you think it's a it's a positive thing or a negative? I'm drawing the line here. I'm going to have to go against this one. You don't like it? <laughs> so long nipples, overall farts and tails you're fine with, but centaur women, that's where you're going to draw I mean, the line. I, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on It's here. a sad fetish because you'll never get to real, you'll realistically do it. You'll yeah, never right. be able to have sex with a centaur. There's nothing you can do. You can try weird things to recreate it, but there's no if way. If you fuck a centaur from behind, is that still doggy style? No, it's, it's horsey style. style. It's horsey style. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just be worried about getting kicked. Oh, of course, yeah. 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 <laughs> you never know. <laughs> what do you think, uh, Barnett? You gonna fuck a horse person? Is that an issue? Can't is fuck a horse person. Line? Horse people? Centaurs, man. It's just, it's just, got this horse though, man. It's just like, yo. It's we were like, looking at some images here. Like yeah. that one chick, for example, you fucked that Oh, girl. yeah, no. She's already in doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah, of course. There's plenty of them. Yeah, no, I'm in there. What about that one who's literally half woman, half horse? Well, it's like a, a horse she body. Got a nice ass rack, though. That's yeah. I think you yeah. got to fuck that girl from the front, though, because it looks like her pussy is connected to that horse's but neck. But can you fuck, or are you just fucking her second chest? Oh, no, I think that's, you just fuck her second That's chest. just what all horses' chests look like. They look like Oh, is that right? Yeah. She has a chest up there, then she has a second chest down there. You can't mm-hmm. fuck her from the front. Yeah, yeah. well, I don't think yeah. you can fuck her from behind, because then you're just fucking a horse. Yeah. Well, you can fuck a horse. I don't know. Yeah, we visited that before on the right. show. God, Lord knows. I have no idea what this episode's about. <laughs> you know? <laughs> We've just gone down the uh, yeah, centaur <laughs> porn. Uh, I really did take us down a rabbit hole on this yeah. episode. Yeah, you did. Uh, uh, I went to the bathroom. All of a sudden, I'm getting asked about fucking horse bitches. <laughs> it's bizarre. <laughs> it's very bizarre. Uh, it's Marcus, happening. what's another news story? All right. Let's do one more at the Look, very least. Here. All right. Let's do... One more. A woman walking her dog in one of France's most attractive tourist areas was a, the victim of a nightmare attack when a pack of six feral cats dragged her to the ground and mauled her, sev- severing an artery. I heard about this. The, this is not bad. The 31 year old victim, who was walking at the edge of a wooden bell fort in the That's northeastern how old region. I am. She's like me. She is a lot like you, <laughs> although cats love you and they would never maul you. She was left traumatized by the attack and suffered bites to her arms and legs along with a gashed artery. Her dog, who is a poodle, was also badly hurt in the incident. See, why can't we see that musical? Why does it have to be like happy cats having fun in an alley? Why can't we see the one where the cats fucking rip an old lady apart? I want all these cats. I picture these cats dressed like uh, Clockwork Orange. You know, just (laughs) like with the top hats, a cane, fucking some cool makeup on their eyes. She's obviously a fucking demon. Haven't you ever seen Sleepwalkers? Think about it. Uh, These yeah. cats are finding a devil woman attacking her and saving our lives. Yeah, it's thought the attack was related to the high temper- summer temperatures, perhaps making the cats more aggressive than usual. Right. I didn't know cats worked in packs. Of course oh, they yeah. do. Street yeah. cats. Yeah, have you ever seen the musical cats or Aristocats? Yeah, Aristocats. Or- exactly. I've seen Aristocats. Yeah. Right. yeah. Cats hang out, play jazz, dude. Apologize yeah. to Holden. <laughs> You. Why? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what Never in my do? whole life. <laughs> Sometimes I draw pictures of him and pretend that he's talking to me and say I'm sorry to myself. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that to everyone. <laughs> it's not a bad way to die, though. A bunch of cats killing you. That's a fine way to go, right? That's a horrible way to go. Painful you think so? Yeah, it's, pretty yeah. bad way to it's a go. fun funeral, though. It's going to take long. It's bad long. just being Why? around a cat and it's not doing anything. Is this woman going to be a superhero, Catwoman? This is what created her. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. She got licked by a bunch of cats. Catwoman. But she yeah, also yeah. fell off of a building. They were just licking her to health, man. But to die by a bunch of cats is fucked up, dude. Okay, you don't you don't maintain their powers after they cut open your skin and get what all the saliva. What power sh- does a stupid fucking cat have? A cat has a bunch nine of power. Lives, they can, nine lives. That's number one. That's climb massive. Up they can trees pretty well. Climb up trees amazingly. Scale walls. Get Sounds people to make a lot of memes about you for just doing weird For being fat and lazy. Like, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. hanging out, and there's all types of memes with cats. I got some on my phone right now. Angry it's... cat just being upset. Yeah. Yep. Huge success. Lasagna cats. Laz- yeah, Garfield. Garfield is amazing. Dude, if you were a cat, think about how much further your comedy career would be right it now. Would be huge. <laughs> it would be huge. <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> you would be crushing right now. <laughs> the first cat female, first cat stand up, they're going to fucking crush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Second All y'all say, say you don't shit. have to do no jokes. Like, I was walking on this terrace the other day. People are already like, ah! <laughs> screaming. It's a talking cat! That's the end of your joke. The end of your joke is you just walking on a terrace, man. That's right. I fell into some lettuce. I fell into the lettuce. And people were like, oh my God. Oh, All right, now I'm going to play with this ball for the next five minutes. Yeah. You know, they just oh, give a standing amazing. ovation after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for a segment from Holden yeah. McNeely. Oh, new slang words. Boy, yo, yo, What a silly one. One it is. Uh, today we're gonna. I'm sorry. Don't today we're gonna. Me. I just want to apologize to our listeners uh, for Why a moment. Why are you apologizing? I feel uh, the broken. Boing boing. The boing boing. I yeah. thought the boing boing was good. Oh, okay. New slang words. We're gonna come up with new slang words today. Um, I'm gonna go with. Um, Take also- it one more time. New slang words. Oh, I'm gay. I'm gonna You're come gay? up with new slang words. Maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. My girlfriend's out of town and I've been sucking dick. Oh, right. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> um, in Ben's room. He's dog sitting. Uh, I uh, Ben's room's fun. Smells like shit. Uh, I, new slang words. Um, I'll start uh, drinking Mugu. 
Okay. When I'm drinking Mugu, that's going to be a shot of whiskey, uh, mama's breast milk, and a little bit of uh, my own farts. Drinking Mugu gets you fucked up. Because the thing is, my farts fucking have like a hallucinogenic effect. So it's kind of like absinthe, essentially, when you drink it. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's kind of like robo tripping. Drinking Mugu. All right. (laughs) <laughs> Gotta get that milk, though. Oh, uh, <laughs> right? The hardest part. <laughs> My room smells like old cum, by the way, just to yeah. really specify what the smell is. Oh, and shit. <laughs> and potato chips and pretzels. Mm-hmm. Ah, whatever. <laughs> uh, Mine's uh, oh, yeah. dangle cocks. Okay. All right. It's, um, it's, a, um, it's for women who don't have cocks. They uh, take a big shit and then glue it to their uh, pelvic bone, and it's a uh, dangle cock. <laughs> That's never okay. gonna happen. Yeah, that's <laughs> tough. That's a tough one. It's, you know, you got a cute little dingle cock. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. So uh, with the cock, with the it's a different shit, and they stick it to themselves. Okay, the, the shit works out its really, own to adhesive. Dingle cock, right? How yeah. long would the shit last? One well, fuck. As long as shit, yeah. <laughs> I mean, probably less than one. And then they fuck a woman. I would assume with it. Yeah, or a dude in the ass. With a piece of shit, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. That's good. So this episode's not going to be released. <laughs> um, let's see. He wanted a new curse word. What's that? He wanted a new curse word. It's got to be something dirty. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Uh, no, it was a slang, slang word. <laughs> slang. Yeah. Uh, oh, so it's, so I get to pick something that already exists. I just invented a new horrible invention. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see yeah. where I messed up. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> I have really is a new slang word. It, I guess tough. if someone like you know as a, a dingle cock would be uh, after you pull your uh, cock out of a dude's ass, like, or dude's ass with a dingle cock. That's a dingle cock. Yeah, that works, All right, that yeah, works that works, works much way. better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think that exists, I do think that already exists, Marcus. You could Google dingle cock, and I Santora. guarantee you, you get multiple images. You can use that in so many ways. Cock. That almost sounds like a slur. For people that hate gay people, you'd be like, "Follow these fucking dingle cocks around here. <laughs> it works. Cocks. It works in so many different ways. It does. You just opened up a whole fucking can of worms, man. It's pretty oh, amazing. I respect it. Yeah, it's Absolutely. the thing. You're going to have like four or five different definitions under your word, like an urban dingle dish. cock already. Hell yeah. Not bad. Take not it bad. off, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, I, you know, honestly, I have nothing. I really have. No, let's brainstorm some. Kevin, do you have anything? Uh, all right. New shit. slang There's, words. All right, new slang words. New I slang kind of forgot words. about the segment. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, it's all good. That's a cat, nigga. So this is the slang word okay. for when you're walking down the street and you're kind of in a shady area. You hear some rustling. You get spooked. Sure. You get scared. But then you realize it's just a cat. So <laughs> you say that. To, That's happened to me. Yeah, exactly. That's happened to all of us. Yeah. So you're walking down the street, you say that, and listen, honestly, 95% of the time, you got to say that to yourself, especially if you are of the race that can't say nigga in That's front right. of people. But the Polish. you say in that to yourself. In front of people of other races. Yeah. Ex- well, yeah. If you were white and you say nigga, have a ball. Say it in front of all the white people because that's your right. Thank you. But it's my time. I'm on my time. You made the word. You made the word. Say it amongst yourselves. You made the word. We meet up every Friday night, like after work day is done. We just say it over and over again for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. You say nigga around niggas is going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. But you say it around yourselves, perfectly fine. Did we make the word? It's my favorite conference word, call yeah. of the week. There is, there is, uh, they all, hey, people love it. <laughs> so, oh, it's all good. That's a cat, nigga. Say that to yourselves or to other people of I your same it. race. Well, this chick that was in France, she just got attacked by a bunch of cats and it severed an artery. Exactly. A cat. That's the difference. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. Think all right. of a new slang for uh, white people. Something to call white people. We don't have anything that defends me. White people? Yeah. This is a new slang word that I just came up for white people. It's called uh, champions. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, so like whenever you see a white person, just be like, yo, champion. <laughs> what is up building the Sears Tower? I love it. Building the Empire State Building. <laughs> building all the roads. <laughs> Making the world <laughs> champions. Awesome. There you go. That's a good one. Uh, Other you. Kevin, do you got one? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> As an attorney, I copy off other people, so it's kind of hard to be original. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, Marcus. I feel like that's about it. 
I think you so too. Throw, you didn't say one either. Champions. champions. Yeah. Oh, champions. I'm just, yeah. No, he was serious, yeah. and he wins. Yeah, he I won. That is I was like, I am a champion. I am well. offended that you think white people are so great. Well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that has been this I episode. I feel like entire groups of people have been undermined in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's the round table, and gentlemen, Ed Larson, Holden McNeely, Kevin yeah. Burnett. I am Ben, and then that is Marcus, and thanks for being here, Kevin's friend, Kevin. Thank you. Perfect. Ben's shit was accurate. Oh, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, there we go. Goodbye. Goodbye.